Hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, this is Dalton and Cloud here. How are you doing, tech heads? In today's video, we have a certification we're going to be going over from the EC Council. We're going over the CEH V11 or V10 in some of the materials case, uh, or the Certified Ethical Hacker version 11 or 10 as some of the training material you just so shortly see um clearly dictates um so before we get into today's video i just want to be sure to let you know uh, if you could please help out for the youtube algorithm so we could get this information out to more as many people as possible um if you could go ahead and hit that like button and then uh tap the notification bell to get future updates on more content like this so you could see more certifications uh, as I produce them and get this information out to you. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, so first uh, here we are at the main page for the CEH uh, V11 page. Um, so a little bit about this exam first. Uh, this exam has around 125 questions. The duration of the test is about four hours. The test is multiple choice for the format. The test del delivery is ECC exam or VIEW. Um, a lot of you have used VIEW in the past. Have you gone for any other exams that I've gone over? And that's gonna be uh, helpful for you if you're just wanting something to be used like used to a certain testing format um next who is this for this is for people who are going into a information security analyst or administrator role uh secure information assurance security officer role information security manager specialist role um or any of these other roles that are listed on here anything to do with information security or risk and threat management. Next up, we want to go over the exam blueprint so you could get an idea of the domains. You could go ahead and find this on the primary link. I will actually give a link to the blueprint in the description and I will label it blueprint. So be sure to click on that. Uh, if you actually want to see the specifics, we're just going to go over the actual domains themselves today in this video. So the actual domains for this is going to be information security and ethical hacking overview. This is going to be reconnaissance uh, and techniques, uh, system hacking phases and attack techniques, as well as network and per perimeter hacking, web application hacking, wireless network hacking, mobile platform IoT and OT hacking, cloud computing, and cryptography. So unlike other IT certifications we've gone over before, which have really been going over just understanding what kind of attacks there are, this goes a little bit more in depth into a wider spectrum of different attacks and it goes into very specific, a lot more specifics than uh, other exams such as the Security Plus from CompTIA. So how much does the CEH cost? So overall, we kind of have a breakdown here thanks to quickstart.com. Uh, we'll give a shout out to them in the description as well. So it gives an idea with training through their vendor website, uh, in-person training. This is what it's looking at like as well as with self-paced training um, through, again, through their website, what it's going to take. Uh, it's going to be either 4000 or $2,000, uh, give or take. So with the training provided by CEH, it's going to be roughly $250 to $600 uh, for their online training. It's only going to last you six months is how much you'll have access to it for. Uh, the exam fee itself is going to be uh, about a buck twelve, so $1,200. And then the remote proctoring fee is about $100. And the application fee is going to be a hundred dollars and then for the in-person training it's going to run you a lot more for that training it's going to be around 850 to three thousand bucks so 
the we don't want to pay that much money so let's start getting into the vendors today so it pro tv they are great when it comes to traditional it security being one of those now i will say this is still in production so they are not actually complete with the all the domains as of yet so it is taking them a little bit of time to get everything up and running for the ceh v11 which that's fine some of the content is overlapping from the previous domains so they do have the ceh v10 content as well so you can go in there review that content while you're waiting on some of this to be produced and released and they they are pretty good especially after they had their merger recently earlier on in the year with the a aci learning company um, as far as producing and releasing their content so i 100 percent recommend it pro tv if you're ever going for anything traditional like security or networking or um, database administration next up is udemy now it says this is an unofficial uh exam prep for the ceh v11 Jason Dion and his team are amazing at their exam prep. All the time, no matter what, relentlessly, they are amazing. So even if this is unofficial, it's three, still going to be 375 prep questions that are going to help get you ready for this exam. Without a doubt, I can't stress enough how important it is to get Jason Dion's content even when it's just test prep questions. This is an exam dump, but he does have in-depth detail in explaining why an answer is an answer and why it is the way it is. Always, always, always try to get his content. Jason Dion does an amazing job here. Uh, next up is Simply Learn. Now, Simply Learn, their course instructors are usually hit or miss. Uh, they are very much relying on sales, though. So. As long as uh, the sales are up, then it's probably going to get uh, give a good course, uh, provide you a good course overview. So considering how many ratings and how many learners this has, um, I'm I'm almost certain that this is probably going to give you, provide you a good course overview. Uh, I have seen a couple people on a few different uh, subreddits uh, say they've used Simply Learn. Uh, actually probably about two different instances where I've seen uh, other individuals use it now they could have been paid uh, saying that they used used it uh, and really they work for simply learn it was hard for me to tell but from what I could see uh, from just the free preview uh, I saw this this is a pretty pretty positive course it gives you a lot of content and overall it will be a good starter for a test prep uh going on to plural site plural site does offer some good content here it it is going to be a lot very outdated a lot of content here is going to be from the 2018 version of the ceh so it's not going to be nearly as up to date as i would like it to be out of all the actual course courses that are going to save you money i gotta say it pro tv is probably going to be your best bet studying for the ceh v11 aside from that we do have a couple books and a couple other resources that are 100 percent guaranteed vetted i know this isn't paid reviews etc uh, um, so cybex cybex great books cybex does has great content as far as books rick does an amazing job uh, with this book, it's going to cost you 30 bucks for the ebook or 50 bucks for the paperback. Just get the ebook. If you have a tablet or if you have something else you could read on it and you don't mind looking at a screen, I know you're already looking at a screen, but look at another one. Uh, if, if you're already going to be looking at a screen, might as well get some content out of it that is going to help prepare you to take you to the le next level in your career. Uh, Sean Phillip. I've, I've seen him talked about religiously as far as an amazing making amazing content digest. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have the V11 out yet. He only has the V10. So that's going to be the biggest downfall of his book. It's so, again, 2018, the V10, 
but it does have some stuff that overlaps with the V11, so I do highly recommend you to uh, check this book out. It's unavailable currently on Amazon, but if you go and look up Sean Phillips CEHV10, see if you could find it at your local library or see where else you might be able to find it. This is going to be a great book, and it's really going to help you out. And lastly, we're going to actually go over to Boson. We don't talk about Boson nearly enough because they're very niche in what they offer um, certification prep for. And it's not exactly just courses or test preps. It's usually something a little bit more advanced like uh, exam simulations. So that's what we have specifically in this case is for the CEH V11. We have... Uh, simulations for max hacking so this is going to be 375 question count similar to our jason dion's uh question count but i 100 percent 100 percent uh say boson does an amazing job with their content uh in networking and security and all these fields so it's a hundred bucks this is a little bit more expensive than what we're used to. We're used to paying 15 bucks a month or 15 bucks for a life or $21 Canadian. Um, I, I can't stress enough. If you have the hundred dollars to put into this, this is going to be great content for you as well. Boson always does an amazing job with the content they release for cert prep. Without further ado, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some content that's going to help prepare you for your next certification prep. Without further ado, you have a great rest of your day, morning, uh, evening, or afternoon, and I will see you in the next video.